Hello guys, it's the Big Cowpat here. Uh, today I'll be showing you my first tutorial video, which is aimed at giving people a basic understanding as to how redstone in Minecraft works. Uh, at first it may seem like a very complex thing, but once you have gained a basic understanding of how the circuits work, uh, it becomes quite simple. Redstone is based on digital electronics or Boolean algebra logic, which is how your computer's CPU performs tasks in real life. But anyway, let's get into it. Uh, the first basic thing you need to know is that redstone can only have two states, just like Boolean log logic in real life. On and off, or one and zero. In Minecraft, and for this tutorial, powered redstone is on or a one, while non-powered is off or a zero. This is important to know because all redstone circuits use components called logic gates. Logic gates are used to determine what the output of the circuit could be depending on the inputs. Like I said before, an out output can be a 1 or a 0. Uh, currently there is nothing creatable in uh, Minecraft that serves as a logic gate, so you have to learn how to make them using a circuit. The most important thing to learn is how to construct these logic gates. Once you do that, you'll be able to understand what you need in order to construct a working circuit you desire, whatever that may be. Uh, there is a large amount of logic gates as well as latches and flip-flops, but they are quite advanced, so today we're only going to go into the basic logic gates to get you started. Uh, there are seven basic gates that I'll show you in this video. There, there is a lot more, but um, we're only going to go for seven in this video for time and also simplicity. Uh, they are as followed, a NOT gate, OR gate, NOR gate, AND, NAND gate, XOR gate, and an XNOR gate. Uh, sounds a bit, like, complex, but don't worry, I, I will go into each one in more detail later. Uh, first thing I'm going to explain is what I mean when I talk about inputs and outputs later on. <clears throat> Basically an input can be a redstone torch, or more commonly a button, pressure plate, or a lever, or an output of a previous gate. Uh, basically it is the charge that is going into the circuit. When I talk about an output, I'm referring to what what charge comes out at the end of the circuit, rather th whether that's a 1 or a 0, or powered or unpowered. Uh, this can be slow, uh, shown easily by putting a door at the end, for example. Uh, when the door is open, that could be a 1 or a 0. It just depends on where the door is located, I guess. Uh, one more thing before we get started is how repeaters work. Repeaters are an extremely useful item that is used to continue the redstone charge through the wire when it runs out of power, because unfortunately a charge can only travel along 15 blocks. Uh, before they added repeaters, you had to build a annoying circuit every so often to continue the charge along the uh, wire, um, because it can't travel through the wire forever, unfortunately. You can also delay the time it takes for the charge to come out uh, on the other side of the repeater by right-clicking it. Um, the more you right-click, the longer the uh, delay is. You can delay it, I think, three times, three or four times or something. And that's a few ticks, so, you know, you got a couple of seconds. Alright, uh, the first gate I'll show you is the most simple, simple gate, the NOT gate. It is made by having your input method, which can be a lever, pressure plate, button, etc., attached or wired to a block with a torch leaning against it on the other side leading to an output maybe a door for example or whatever you want a not gate means the output is not the input for example if the input is zero or unpowered the output will be a one and vice versa the gate is useful for switching the current charge between one and zero a not gate is shown here in off and on inputs Now onto the second gate, which is the OR gate. 
Unlike the NOT gate, the OR gate consists of two inputs instead of one. There are also four possible outputs instead of two. Uh, the OR gate will only have an output of one if at least one input is on or a one. This means that the output will always be a one unless both outputs are zero, as shown here. This is useful if you want to open a door from both sides, believe it or not. This is a very simple gate design right here, and I'm sure most of you guys have made one of these before. Uh, the NOR gate, or NOT OR gate, has the absolute opposite outputs to the OR gate. For example, a NOR gate uh, will only have an input, uh, sorry, an output of one if neither of the inputs are powered. If at least one is powered, the output is zero. This can be used like a NOT gate to switch the outputs of your circuit if it requires it or it's around the wrong way, for example. Uh, the next gate is the AND gate, which is really cool. Um, this gate has two inputs uh, this time. The output is 1 only when both inputs are 1 or ON, otherwise it is always OFF. The gate can be shown here. This gate is awesome because you can build a locking mechanism for your door. Uh, because once the door is open you need both... Um, sorry, because for the door to open you need both inputs on. Uh, this means that if you have an input inside your house, for example, and one on the outside, you can effectively make a lock. Uh, the NAND gate. Uh, this gate is the same as the AND gate, but it's not AND. Uh, except it has opposite outputs, meaning that if at least one of the inputs are off, the output will be on. It will only have an output of zero if both inputs are one. It is shown right here. Uh, okay, uh, this is where it gets a little harder. The next logic gate is the XOR gate, or exclusive OR. Uh, this gate's output will only be 1 if one input is a 0 and the other, other is a 1. If both inputs are the same as each other, the output will be a 0. It is a fairly complex gate, but you can see it built here. Uh, an XOR or XNOR gate will always change its output when one of its inputs changes, allowing for two switches to be combined to open a door or close a door, or activate another device.
uh, XNOR, which is exclusive not OR gate, is the same as XOR, but it has opposite outputs once again, just like the other uh, NOT gates. Basically, only when both inputs are the same input, uh, the output will be 1. Otherwise, it's a 0. Well, uh, that's that's all of the gates. Um, once you understand how to get the right output you want from your inputs by knowing the gates and how to reverse them, making redstone circuits should be much easier. Uh, to fully understand how to work redstone, you need to know what gate you are going to need at the time. Treat this tutorial as a way to get better understanding of how boolean algebra or redstone functions rather than a tutorial to make awesome redstone contraptions. However, I hope this tutorial allowed you to understand redstone a bit better. Uh, and if everything went to plan, you should be able to easily understand other complex circuit tutorials a bit better. Uh, if you need more help, check out the Minecraft Wikipedia and search for redstone circuitry. That's where uh, I learnt a lot of uh, how to do redstone stuff myself. Uh, even though I learnt a lot of this Boolean algebra stuff at university when I'm doing my IT. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped. If you want to see more Minecraft stuff or need more help, send me a message or leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe for more content. Uh, thank you.